The Prophet Yechezkel, Ezekiel chapter 48. Following is the list of tribes. This is Dan's territory, from the north end through Hetlon to the entrance of Hamat, Hatzar Ianan at the border of Damasek, northward, next to Hamat, and they will have their sides east and west. Asher's territory will run alongside the territory of Dan from east to west. Naphtali's territory will run along the territory of Asher from east to west. Manasseh's territory will run alongside the territory of Naphtali from east to west. Ephraim's territory will run alongside the territory of Manasseh from east to west. Reuven's territory will run alongside the territory of Ephraim from east to west. Yehuda's territory will run alongside the territory of Reuven from east to west. Alongside the territory of Yehuda from east to west will be the offering you are to set aside. 25,000 cubits wide, 8 miles, and in length equal to distance between the east and west boundaries of one of the portions, with the sanctuary inside it. The offering you are to set aside for Adonai is to be 8 miles long and 3 wide. This holy offering will be for the Kohanim. It will be 8 miles in length along its north and south sides and 3 in width along the west and east sides. Adonai's sanctuary will be inside it. The portion set aside as holy will be for the Kohanim, who are descendants of Tezadok, that remained faithful to my commission and did not go astray when the people of Israel and the Levaim went astray. It is to be an especially holy portion set apart for them and taken from the offering of the land next to the border of the Levaim. Alongside the territory for the Kohanim, the Levaim are to have a portion eight miles long and three wide, Its total length will be eight, and its width three. They may not sell, exchange, or alienate any of this choice land, because it is holy for Adonai. The five thousand cubits, that is, the one and a half miles, that are are left of the width, is to be for the common use of the city, for housing and for open fields. The city will be inside it, and will measure forty-five hundred, or four thousand five hundred cubits, just under one and a half miles along each of its sides, north, south, east, and west. The city is to have outside it a border of land 440 feet wide on each side, north, south, east, and west, a strip next to the holy offering extending three miles to the east, and three to the west is to be left. This area by the holy offering is to be used to grow food for those serving the city. The people from all the tribes of Israel who serve in the city will farm it, The entire offering will be eight miles square, including the section for the city. What remains will be for the prince, the land on the two sides of the holy offering and section for the city, that is, the portion eastward from the eight miles of the offering's eastern border to the land's eastern border, and the portion westward from the eight miles of the offering's western border to the land's western border. This land adjacent to the tribal portions will be for the prince, with the holy offering and the sanctuary of the house inside it. Thus the land belonging to the Levaim and the section for the city will be inside that which belongs to the prince. The territory belonging to the prince will be between the territory of Yehuda and the territory of Benjamin, which brings us to the rest of the tribes. Benjamin's territory will run from east to west. Shimon's territory will run alongside the territory of Benjamin from east to west. Issachar's territory will run alongside the territory of Shimon from east to west. Zebulon's territory will run alongside the territory of Issachar from east to west. Gad's territory will run alongside the territory of Zebulon from east to west. Alongside the territory of Gad, from the Negev southward, the border will run from Tamar to the water of Marivat Kadesh, then to the Vadi of Egypt, and on to the Great Sea. This is the land you are to distribute by lot to the tribes of Israel for inheritance, and these are their portions, says Adonai Elohim. These are the city exits. They are to be named after the tribes of Israel, three gates on each of the four sides. The four sides each measure just under one and a half miles on the north. Gates named after Reuven, Yehuda, and Levi on the east. Gates named after Yosef, Benjamin, and Dan on the south. Gates named after Shimon, Yissachar, and Zevalon, and on the west, gates named after Gad, Asher, and Naphtali. The perimeter of the city will be just under six miles long, 
And from that day on the name from that and from that day on the name of the city will be Adonai Shammah. Adonai is there. End of Ezekiel chapter 48.